All right, let's shift gears over to the rebuilding side here. Top trade targets for rebuilders. These are going to be your top trade targets at every position for some rebuilders. Going to do it exactly the same way we just did the contenders. So let's start with the wide receivers. Big Co, give me give me some some rebuild trade targets. Uh, the top ones, of course, because you wouldn't want the bottom ones. Uh, really, these are just kind of be some some ideas and some some of our favorites to go after right now if you're rebuilding. So Big Co, give me some wide receivers. Well, to, like. to cel celebrate uh, the return for TJ Hawkinson, I'm going to say Jordan Addison. He's a really, really good wide receiver for the NFL, especially the way the NFL is played right now. And Sam Darnold isn't, isn't completing 30 passes a game. So between Justin Jefferson and Hawkinson coming back, Addison is going to have his spots where he doesn't, you know, he's not been great already this year. And I just feel like it's a really, he's a really good player. And he gets hated on a lot. And I think it's a really good opportunity to scoop him up and put him on your bench and hang out. Because if you're rebuilding, in this day's age in NFL, players move around a lot more than they ever did. Mm -hmm. you know. And there was already a little bit of rumor that they were trying to, that some teams were potentially looking into Jordan Addison just as recently as like two weeks ago. I don't think he gets traded because the Vikings are, are you know, still a top contender in NFC, or at least they think they are. And so I don't think he gets traded, but he may or may not be on the Vikings next year. And obviously the way it works, Justin Jefferson could get hurt next week. We don't want him to, but he could. And, you know, so I just feel like Addison is going to be a little bit down on the totem pole. And, you know, you lose Bradford. I'm Bradford. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Whoa. Um, you, you lose um, the quarterback. but you, you, you Darnold. Get, you lose, you, well, you got Darnold, but... Um, J.J. Got, McCarthy. Kirk. I'm sorry. Kirk Cousins. We'll get there eventually. Um, we're getting there. <laughs> Two, three, four. Sam Darnold is not going to carry that offense. They they won games, but the offense was not that prolific. They were doing it through defense and a mixture. And I think everybody was as surprised as Darnold was himself. And so I think they've kind of cooled off a little bit. And I just feel like as it goes, I think he's a really, I think Addison's a nice pickup for rebuilding teams. Yeah, no, I, I, I like Addison a good bit and, and not <gasps> crushing it week over week and was a little banged up to start the season. So I, I like it. It's it's you're buying the dip in Addison. He's free. It's not going to be hard to get from somebody. And we and we know he can he can play some good ball. Some people would argue that he can't, but I, I think that's kind of silly. So Paris I, li probably I like the Jordan Addison pickup. Who else you got, Big Co? I like Ricky Pearsall because you don't necessarily as again as a rebuilder. Doesn't hurt you that third and Juwan Jennings is going to come in there and, and soak up a ton of targets. You know, next year we're talking and and rebuilder, we're not necessarily just talking about next year either. You mm -hmm. know, but you're talking about a first round wide receiver that now gets tied in with Shanahan and Purdy. And Kittle will be a year older. CMC will be a year older. Ayuk's coming back from an ACL, bad attitude before he left, possibly. Maybe coming back, you know, slow to give more reps, potentially more WR1 reps. Maybe Debo's there. Maybe he's not. Debo's like went from being the, you know, maybe top two playmaker in the league two years ago to being a little bit slower and a little bit more likely to be hurt more often. And as you know, he's a Gamecock. I love Debo. He's one of the best playmakers that we've seen in a long time. I don't think he's maybe he's long for, you know, San Fran. Maybe he's not, but he's just not out there running a ton of routes, mm -hmm. you know, and I just feel like there's tons of upside in Pearsall and he hasn't done anything at all yet and he didn't even you know last week there was a chance that he was going to get out there and you know Kittle stole the show and so you didn't even have to worry about you know him shooting his stock up mm -hmm. before we had this conversation and uh, I just feel like Pearsall's a nice cheapish first round rookie pick yeah to, no, I like it I, I would add a great organization I would add somebody like Tank Dell to this list as well. Obviously, oh, just had a good week, um, but bad. before that, people were 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 really really concerned about him. I like that. All right, Big D, let's go running back rebuilders. Who you got for your pleasure? Yeah, real quick, I, I just to add, I would also yeah. add Rice in there right now. Oh, I think Rusty Rice his oh. price is 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 down low enough where he's not going to add points to your your roster, and I think you'd be able to pivot off or pivot and get some. <laughs> Uh, get some and then the other wide receiver that i really like that i've been trying to buy low and and it's his value starting to creep up but we talked about drake may on the last show and i'm going to talk about pop douglas mm. i think pop douglas is a is a is is marinating there and uh getting ready to pop <laughs> um so <laughs> he, he's he's one of those players where i don't think his value his price is is caught up to his value and i think I agree. they're still learning that often so i don't think it's going to add too many points to your 
to your lineup, right? Uh, on a rebuilder, you want less points, so your your draft pick gets a little higher. But um, you know, he but he still has that potential, that ceiling that I really like. So those are it, those are two bonus Douglas's bonus snap share is weirdly low, uh, mm-hmm. but there's definitely a connection there. And then you had a good one last week, uh, Parker Washington. And he came yeah. out and had a good Parker's game, too, so too. Yeah. I want to throw that in there. But uh, on to the running backs, Big D. Sorry. To- on to the running backs. So we're going to go with uh, two uh, two guys that I think are, are value buys right now, which is uh, Travis Etienne and Kenneth Walker, or Kenny Three Sticks, as we call them in the, in the pod, A9, if you are in the Seattle market. Both of them value down. You know, Travis Etienne, obviously, he's been hurt. He's He's been injured. Tank Bigsby's looked like you thought P- Tank Bigsby was going to look like next or last year yeah. when we had the conversation between uh, Tank Bigsby and uh, Zach Charbonnet. And and so I, I think that sca- that has scared enough people where Travis Etienne's value has dropped down again. But to me, Travis is still just like Ken Walker has outplayed Charbonnet, you know, when he's actually healthy and on the field. I feel like Travis does that as well. In, in my opinion, pretty pretty blatantly, uh, and and I don't think the coaching staff visor or hat wearing you know there in Jacksonville is 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 long you know long for the tooth. Nor is Etn possibly long for the tooth there. But but I still think that he's coming back off that injury. I don't think his his points are going to be um, dramatic again for a rebuilder. But he's young enough where I don't normally target uh, running backs that aren't like super rookies like. You know, we could talk about, you know, Kendra Miller as a buy, those those kind of type of players that aren't scoring anything. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you, you know, everybody's always scared to buy running backs when you're doing a rebuild. But I think these type of players are are ones that you can buy this year for the cheap. And, you know, you could be right into contention um, next year with your draft class and stacking it up. I didn't say much about Walker, so I'll just say real quickly. He finally got the target share or the 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 carry the load share. Um, he had an ob- oblique injury earlier in the year. That's why he's missed. And I think they've been teetering it and, and carrying it up. I think he's he's past that now. Obviously, they had the buy to see how how healthy he was going to be. But you had said Gino on a quarterback sell a while back because they're slinging the rock so much there in Seattle. Which, if you're listening to us listening to us i don't know why i said it that way if you've been listening to us you know we one of the hot predictions of the offseason was seattle was going to be a top five passing offense and and that's kind of you know it's right there because of how much they're they're slinging it but i think because they're not winning i think they're going to bring that down a little bit and get the running game going again and so anyways point being i think walker for the long run uh is going to solidify a lot of your rebuilding teams and or give you the ability to you could buy them for cheaper now, and, and if you don't have a trade deadline or it's later, say three weeks from now, four weeks from now, you might be able to pivot off of them again. So it's a, a different way to look at rebuilding the running back position on your rebuild teams. I like it. I don't, you know, Kenny might be a little little more expensive than ET right now. ET's great. I love the ET buy. Kenny might be a little expensive, but but probably attainable for some people because they do hate running backs, and so some people just you know don't love Kenny Walker. So I like it. I like it. Um, all right, let's move to quarterbacks here. These are rebuilding targets here, and, and and really, it's just it's buying dips on these quarterbacks, right? So, guys, we talked about him in the moves to make show. Dak Prescott, mm-hmm. you know, I know he's a little older, and you're looking at your rebuild and yada yada yada. But this he, is this is a player old. who can be. He's I think he's thirty, but we've seen him be MVP level caliber play through the back half of last year. He's better than the than the quarterback points that he's putting up. Right now, right, um, you know they're probably going to have a big coaching change. Dak's paid and going to be there. Ceedee Lamb, you know, I don't, you know, seemingly will be there. I don't. Those two don't seem like they they love each other a ton, but whatever. Dak is is just like you. You can get a trade done, and I feel like somebody'd be willing to give you Dak for pretty cheap if you're a rebuilder, um, and, it, and it's the quarterback position, so you're not that terribly worried about age. And right, it's not that and old. It's hard enough to get one, you know. Right. And, you know, I'd throw T-Law in there as well. People, you know, is T-Law the generational quarterback that you thought he was? No, but he's still a pretty good quarterback. It's it's a mess over there in Jacksonville. Does he make stupid uh, mistakes? Is he, does he love the game as much as maybe everybody else? Maybe not. Mm. Uh, but he can give you good points, and he can he can run around. There's, there's some good pieces in play. They just need to switch the visor wear and head coach uh, and get rid of uh, the OC, switch all that up. Uh, and and Trevor's still been pretty decent for a lot of this year, fantasy wise, especially over this last stretch. You know, now again, ended this last game with a bad pick, but 
been playing decent quarterback for the past few games. And yeah, take, I, it's, it's in there. Take up for Trevor Lawrence. He's got the same amount of points as Cousins and a few more than Sam Darnold. Hey guys, a quick reminder to head over to patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty to sign up for a free membership to get access to the free Discord channel. Or hit your boys with the $5 holler and get access to extra shows, mock drafts, roster reviews, ADP, and player pages. All for your pleasure. Fields is another one. If you're a rebuilder, at some point, he'll probably get another opportunity. You see how quickly... When he was just in there for Pittsburgh, that the points come in, in bunches. Somebody right now might give you fields for almost next to nothing in, in, a, in a deal that you'd be building mm-hmm. uh, because they're not getting any quarterback play from him. So fields was one for me for a rebuild. Mahomes made the rebuild show that me and Big D and Jason did last week. Now, I just got an alert. Mahomes non-contact hurt potentially mm. in this game. So that would maybe even open the window even more for a buy Mahomes because look idiots out there. Look, he was on he's on this list because this is the first time he's ever been obtainable. Ever. I don't know where your memory lies and it's how gone. how you can get through your day with how short so people to memories are. Social media, ADHD, it's all the every every memory is gone but from everyone. We're in a we we're I'm in a redraft league and no, no, no disrespect to Anthony if he's listening to the show, uh, but somebody was asking, you know, whether or not whether or not you'd rather have, you know, Justin Jefferson or, or and Tua or Mahomes and St. Brown. And I was like, St. Brown and Mahomes. It's yeah. Like easy. Dynasty. This is easy. like he's like, well, what's to say Mahomes is going to bounce back? What do you mean? What the fuck is to say Mahomes is going to bounce back? Dumbest. Is it that was for redraft or Dynasty? dynasty. Oh, okay. Redraft. I'll take. Yeah, I'll take those two. OK. You know, it's dynasty. We're playing a long term game here. Mahomes is the best quarterback in the league. He's got nothing to throw to. The last two years, he's been a little down. All of a sudden, next year, you might be going, holy shit, Mahomes is throwing for 5,565 yards last year, and he's got 40 fucking touchdowns again. Or like 60. You, you can't buy Mahomes any other time. So if you're, if even if it, as a rebuilder, if it costs you a little extra to put a guy like Mahomes on your team, for the next five years, I'm fine with doing so. The window is is open. People are piling up stats that, oh, he hasn't done this. He hasn't done that. He hasn't done this. He hasn't done that. The motherfucker's still the top G at quarterback. And if you can get back Hollywood maybe for another year and you get Rice and maybe Nuke stays for, you know, and and worthy like this. They tried. They've been tr- they tried to fucking make this thing be like, hey, this offense isn't having a problem anymore. <laughs> uh, and and but and, it's not broke, uh, right? So anyway, but right now it is broke, and because he, he's twenty third in in a quarterback sure. scoring, sure, and he's got you know less less points than Justin Fields, and Justin sure. Fields hadn't played in a couple weeks. That's your buy window, right? So like you said, the the I think the main thing that you said right there was this is the first time he's been attainable since his rookie since his second year since he broke out with the fifty touchdowns. So this is the first time you could have a legit trade target of Pat Mahomes without having to trade your best two players, you know? Right. Um, and, and maybe even leagues, more. One of our leagues this in off season, we saw a, a guy give away. He bought Pat Mahomes for Dak and Jamar Chase and got back Patrick Mahomes and something not nearly as good as Jamar Chase because he wanted to go to Patrick Mahomes. Mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes has never been viable and now he is. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm in on that. And then the final one for me in this, and you know, I know people aren't going to like it and people might, might might get real upset, even though we had a buy low for A Rich a week ago or two weeks ago. Uh, but A Rich would be a, a rebuilding buy quarterback wise uh, for me, hands down. Uh, this is no brainer. This is for me. Everything I've said about Anthony Richardson up to this point is still exactly the same, right? The only thing that's changed is for some reason they had felt the need to come out the day and tell you that he was benched for the rest of the year. <laughs> yeah, that tells me that this is a Jim Irsay fucking that that just it this just smells weird. But I hope the fucking Colts lose every single game from here on out. But your offense didn't score a point last night. Yeah, like goes back not being elite. You're putting a 40 year old quarterback in there, and look, Anthony Richardson has not been good, and it's not. I, I'm a guy who doesn't. I will change my opinion. But my opinion wasn't that Anthony Richardson was a good, fa- uh, good, real NFL quarterback. My opinion was is the fantasy upside of this guy is fucking bananas. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to take that risk every single time I can 
uh, and we've seen glimpses of it. Uh, <coughs> I don't think this is the last time we've seen Anthony Richardson. I don't even think we've, this is the last time we've seen Anthony Richardson this year. I agree. You know, I get it. You're, you're trying to put the locker room maybe back together, and we don't see everything that you're seeing from Anthony Richardson. And <coughs> I, don't under, I don't know what the tap out thing was. That was weird as fuck. Personally, I think he was a little dinged up for something there, and he checked himself out, and then he lied, and it made it worse because mm-hmm. uh, he was trying to not make it look like he was potentially had something going on there. Maybe he wasn't. Maybe he just has no awareness and was like, ah, I was tired. Like, yeah, <laughs> it just seems like a weird thing for him. Like, he knows that he's not tired, but that guy ain't tired. You know? <laughs> be out of breath for a second right. for what he had to go through. Anyway. He's he's on the the rebuilder uh, by by low list for me, you know. Obviously, I would have thought that you would have got this whole year of Anthony Richardson plus maybe six games of next year to to figure it out. It didn't happen. Hey, things happen. Shit happens. He's even cheaper than he was. I'm still I'd still be buying low on the rebuilder for Anthony Richardson. Oh, I'm definitely buying low on Anthony Richardson. You and can't. you can call it take lock, dying on the hill, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I I'll, can't call it take lock after a year and a half. I it's just, dynasty. <laughs> You know, fuck? I'll wait. You patience, patience, Iago. You get opportunities like this, and if it if it doesn't work out, then your process wasn't wrong. And some if you're listening, some people are gonna be like, "This is uh, definitely your process is wrong." Just like you <laughs> said, like he's played X amount of games, which is very little, ten, and and half of those games he's had like twenty something or more fantasy points, and he's the they're three and three with him and it's three and three with Flacco the, you know, right. as far as winning the games. And so, yeah, he's not as, you know, a pure pocket passer as Flacco is right. The second, no Flacco's played 150 games, 185. There you go. Um, <laughs> but I mean, for, for Richardson, the, you already said, I mean, if they, other teams called the Colts this week, you, you want to trade them? Yeah. You know, like the other teams are like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give him a shot. We'll give him a shot. And for the young man that he is, he's standing there at the, at the, uh, at the tunnel for halftime, high-fiving the guys going into the tunnel, sitting, you know, sitting beside Flacco on the bench all night, standing there with the coaches talking, got the ear, but, you know, hey, which no moping. Should I ask you? No, no moping, right? Right. You know, just, uh, you know, they said never it took, played quarterback took, before, took them a day to figure out, you know, hey, I got benched. And then the next day at practice, they're like, all right, well, what am I learning today? Yeah. You know, so it's just like – there, there's no, there's not gonna be, any, you know, it's it's what some people who wanted it to happen happen, and they feel so vindicated that's right fine. now. That's, and that's those, fine. Those that's same people right. I got get, the dashboard. They get unvindicated so fast. Well, they're they're, memory. Then they're then they're irrelevant, right? Then they're irrelevant. All these people, all these haters in the comment section, all the fuckheads on Twitter, they talk so much shit, and it's so cool to be like, oh, this guy's trash, and just to overreact so soon when they're wrong after however long it takes. Then they're irrelevant. Then you never hear anything about it ever again. Right. And it's it's you know it's a it's an unfortunate circumstance that we're in in the world where so there's no harm in going all ham and jerkish in the moment because you do, there's no repercussions. There's no memory. There's no it's it's nothing after. Well, yeah, that's a, that's what that's the society we live in. You have to have the take. If you're not the best quarterback already, then you got to be trash. And if you guys don't know, these social media apps are designed to make you upset. <laughs> they want you to be upset because then you're engaged and you're fucking keyboard worrying it up and then they yeah. get to sell more advertising I, shit so they want you to be mad if you're getting mad because of what you're seeing on social media you're just playing right into what they I, want. I i look at it as it's maybe not even a terrible thing that he got benched what i no. you know be- I, think it's a great thing. I, I would like to see him come back this year and you know it's a bummer that i'm not getting to see him play look i've i could tell you for sure that I've watched every single anthony richardson game since he's come into the league well, you need and, to watch more film and it's has it been great? No, it hasn't been great every week. There's there's times where it's it's really like what the hell are you doing? But there also is times where he makes very good throws and very good decisions and learns in games. And then he also doesn't get helped out by his team. Or as, as in the last game that he played, you know, there was a, a handful of balls that they weren't easy catches, they weren't gimme catches. But it's the fucking NFL, and other guys get bailed out about it all the time. Nobody gave a shit when Jalen Hurts was struggling because he's already proved himself, and Jalen Hurts has bounced mm-hmm. back here. There you go over over this over time here. And look, maybe our, uh, Richardson will never be the thing. And shout out to the the guy in our in our Discord who I had a very long conversation with, and he came back in 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 uh, in in this in today and was like, "Ah, oh, Anthony Richardson bench forever. Uh, I told you he sucks." And it's like, 
Maybe, man. Maybe. And you're just the kind of goofball that I'm talking about in the situation where, you know, you feel so vindicated at this point, but I'll never. You know, I, I, I explained my entire point of how the value of players like Anthony Richardson work in my head and how this should work for a lot of you guys out here. And you just can't get over the fact that he's trash and you've already made your mind up that he was trash. And you probably made your mind up that he was trash from day one. Mm-hmm. And you've never changed your process. Even when he was scoring those points, you just want to point to all the negative stuff where you take away the big play. If he does turn into something good, you're never going to come back and say, "Ah, oh, you know, my bad. I was wrong. You're just going to move on to the next thing to say. You're just going to go to the trash. next video. And talk so, about your shit. Anyway, I, there's a million I, there's a million avenues I want to go down with the Anthony Richardson thing. It didn't work out. You, I'll say I was wrong right now, but I don't. I don't feel wrong. Not I, I, for a while though, guys. <laughs> right. This is dynasty, yeah. and every week we'll just come on here as the price keeps getting cheaper. Well, that's that's what I'm. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to keep telling you about these guys because everybody else wants to tell you that they suck and that in eight games we know everything we need to know about these guys or however long. JSN is a you're, perfect, la- you're only as good as your last three games. JSN is a perfect example. Up until this past week. He was wide receiver 24 on the season in PPR. And people are talking mad shit. And he's comments. a bust and he's terrible. And then he has a 30 point game. He and if duped and, and, all of us, you know, he just wants to, sh- you know, everybody always oh, the worst secondary. He's uh, sell him right now. The, the Rams secondary. stink. The bad, terrible secondary. It's like if you actually watched him play, you saw what he could do out there. You saw when, hey, when we do open it up to intermediate and deep routes, that he is dangerous. And when we're not just peppering him around the line of scrimmage, he can do other things. Lockett gets removed from this offense, and which has typically been Lockett's role. A lot of the stuff that JSN can really For excel 10 at. Years, and he's earned it. But if Lockett's off this team next year, and it's DK Metcalf and JSN, JSN is going to fucking explode. And if if Lockett's there again next year, JSN's still going to have a pretty good season. Like he was. Let me say that again. Wide receiver twenty four before last before week. last week, and everybody yeah. just thinks he's a trash and a bum. It's just it's fucking crazy the world that we live in because he's not. Putting up neighbors. top five points every single week, and he's not a top five receiver. There's no way that he could be fucking good. And then nobody has a fucking word to say when Nico Collins and, and the Cedric Tillman and everybody that everybody is deemed trash start popping back. If, if I swear to God, if Quentin Johnson is good again, people will <laughs> nobody will ever say a word about how much they trashed him. It's crazy. It's like irrelevant. you should have to pay it on either end of this thing, nope. and There's nobody no ever does. So we try to at least stay optimistic. Look, look, the whole thing Patience. is to come out here, learn everything you can, evaluate, evaluate, make your decisions. When you get new information and, and a new perspective, if somebody drops something on you, like, oh, that was, I, you know what? I do see it a little bit different now because you just, but things can change. The value. And when the value changes, if the guy's still good, you pounce on a value drop. Like it's simple stuff. Things guys. can change. Uh, sorry. We are way, way, way way off topic here and i want to get the hell out of here uh but we do need and and big d hasn't even gotten a chime in i know he's dying to say something real quick uh rebuild tight end buys laporta kincaid jt sanders uh big time tight ends that aren't performing right now <laughs> in laporta kincaid and jt sanders we I had is to, kind of performing had we some, had, told had you about him weeks ago good numbers two three weeks ago had another All good off game season. looks great if you want to buy him get in there uh Big D, anything to comment on non-tight end rebuilders wise? Ooh, buddy, rebuilders. yeah, that was a lot. Uh, it was great though. I I um, I, I enjoyed the tri- diatribe. Well, I didn't mean um, to go there, so I didn't I didn't put it together and build it. So it's probably not. Yeah, that. no, you're good. I, I think it, it's good. I mean, I, I think that you know, there's a it lot of people sucks. that think that it's um, you know, it reminds me of that that commercial from a year, a couple years back with the raccoons, and it's like. It's mango, chutney, and burnt hair, right? Like, try it, try it, try it, you know? <laughs> and that's that's not what we're saying here, right? We're not we're not telling you to go out and buy hot garbage. We, we believe in our eyeballs, and, and, and we believe in, you know, results, and we believe in our, you know, uh, and I'll say it, we believe in our checking accounts that have been boosted with winnings over the years. So, you know, there's a track record here at the FFD. I mean, what is it, 2016? Am I right? when you first dropped a pod season eight baby maybe yeah so i mean you know we've been around for a while and you know you may have just just been tuning in to us appreciate you giving us a shot you know but we want to give you that different perspective we want you to look at it from (laughs) so bad you know look at it from more of a macro view we get so lost in the the analysis by paralysis with our micro look with our stat based society and and 
you know, betting overs and, and prop bets and all these kind of things. Like we get really down in the weeds with the micro, but sometimes you just need to step back, look at it from that macro view, view and say, hey, this player didn't suck when we were doing rookie evaluations and watching tape. So there's a good chance he doesn't suck right now. It's just a bad scenario, bad, you know, there, there's there's environmental reasons why he's uh, having some struggles and and still believe in the talent. Yeah. I think if you believe in the talent in the long run, it typically works out for you. Right. Uh, the there's ecosystem not has to connect at some point. Lost. You never know when it will. And I think what Big D's trying yeah. to say is that these rebuild shows are for the new listeners, not the existing yeah. ones. You know <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know so if you're still listening to us, uh, you know, hit that like. You know, subscribe. Come on over to the five dollar holler. You like like what you're hearing. You like the different take than just uh, than just the 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 typical um, you know YouTube or X uh, diatribe. You know that's what we're here for. We're here to give you a different take and to help you win championships. Yeah. So apologize for the rant there. Didn't mean to get off on on, no need on the side. And I I would I could do that a whole lot. Better sorry, I'm not sorry. If I was prepared, uh, but I was not. Uh, but but the, the what exactly what Big D said? Like we've. I've we've got a long track record of betting on these on the long term play because after all we're playing dynasty and am I wrong have I been wrong have I got caught holding the bag for sure but I could tell you right now that my track record for winning out of the back end of that and losing out of the back end of that is way 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 higher than it is on the losing side. It's I, I've won the long term bet a whole lot more because of patience, because we are playing dynasty than we have in the short term. And if you've turned around and at every turn sold off anybody who didn't produce immediately, you're probably in the negative and you're probably not winning. I'm not saying you can't win you that probably way. quit your dynasty, but <laughs> that's that's just that's not the way that I'm going to play. That's not the way, you know, that that I, I think you should play. You should you should. Figure everything out. Do your research. Have conviction. Stick with it. And and you know when something changes and you say, oh, that hey, you know, Hakeem Butler is probably my most famous one. I was so fucking wrong. Couldn't be more wrong. Uh, he stinks. Actually, he's crushing it in the XFL or whatever. <laughs> but uh, for whatever reason, that didn't work out. And there's plenty from this year, last year, and all the years that I've gotten wrong. But you know, it's it's for every Hakeem Butler there's it's so many more it's stick with your process stick with your guys do the research and and, and ride it out for a minute and don't yeah, get don't so, be so swayed afraid to just get caught holding the bag you know like right. you, for every Hakeem Butler you get stuck with and is dead on your roster there's so many more profitable gains well, just from having stuck I mean, I, it out or buying the dip like don't be I think afraid. David Montgomery is a good example right was well, never bad but people hated him, hated him. And for sure, Nick Whalen on was a huge Bears fan and just told you how, how terrible this week fucking guy week. was. He was never season terrible. You just decided that he was terrible and you found stats to tell you he was terrible. Meanwhile, when he was out there, for the most part, he scored decent well, fantasy points. He was one of the guys that didn't have to that, that did well and still didn't get credit for it. Where there's guys that don't okay, do well and you make times, excuses for it. And it was, well, it was two fine. seasons in a row, he was wide receiver one the last six and weeks now of the season. He's slaughtering. He's Crushing it. And awesome. The price right? only got cheaper over time, and he's doing better than ever. And I bought back in several times. I'm just. I think that's a good example of somebody who wasn't like, like just a. But like the number pe one. people didn't care about david montgomery and he has been so in so valuable to your team over the last two three years uh, it's been insane and if you just stuck it out instead of worrying about the noise and everybody telling you that he sucks and sticking like i watch him he doesn't suck you know what i mean so it's just hashtag good at football it's it's just that's i, I felt like that was a, a pretty good ex you know i feel like jsn is kind of in that thing right now like he doesn't suck he's just this is a, the, well, now he doesn't. He scored 20, 37. There's a, there's a new offense. The Seahawks have changed guards. It's, everything's changing. The OC's the first year calling plays in the NFL ever. Mm -hmm. A lot of things going on. Tyler Lockett needs to retire. <laughs> you know, the gum chewer for there for it's years. Just, gone. There, Tyler there's Lockett. A, there's a, you know, dude. He's good. He's there's good. a professional a team right now that for some reason was not letting Cedric Tillman play. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Cedric Tillman clearly can play football. 
He's a fucking monster, apparently. He did drop a, a pass. I don't give a fuck. The all the good players drop year. fucking pl- they all passes. Drop passes. No, but like in a he, critical situation. He two taps in the end zone. Passes. And that, play, that was one of, you know, critical. there wasn't for Garrett Wilson and uh, the Slim Reaper there um, in Philly. He would have been one of the top plays, top catches of the of the week with that two tap uh, Tillman touchdown yeah. in uh, in the end zone. Sick yeah. catch by him. And Garrett Wilson's another one. Garrett Wilson, people just swore up and down that he sucked. After He's like him. wide receiver three after all of like the last four weeks. Like, it. It just, well, they were like, have that three game get any first you can stretch. for Garrett Wilson. Get rid of him. Go. No, Bo. We Garrett Wilson can play. Stop. Yeah, wide receiver three right Stop. now. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Relax. Al- Alave is the, 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 the other one right now that, uh, yeah, well, you know, he, he's, he's, he's a bunch buy. of unfortunate um, circumstances with Olave. Just keeps anyway. getting cheaper, baby. Buy, buy, buy the dip. I need to go home and get some sleep. This was supposed to be a short episode. Turned into another long episode. Big coast. But it's all for your so pleasure. He can't even, <laughs> he can't even keep his eyes open. Shut the cameras down. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Be sure to hit the five star review if you're listening on the uh, on the pods. Five stars would be greatly appreciated. If you are listening on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and please go over to the Patreon. Five dollar holler and uh, we got a free Discord, a paid Discord. Make sure you check all that out. And until next week, we will see you next time. Patrick Mahomes still throwing passes. All right, still alive. Not dead. <laughs>